This is Coffee with God and I am Father Jos. Let us begin this day with the word of God and a short reflection. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 9, verses 30 to 37. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. Leaving there, they went through Galilee. He didn't want anyone to know their whereabouts, for he wanted to teach his disciples. He told them, "The Son of Man is about to be betrayed to some people who want nothing to do with God. They will murder him. Three days after his murder, he will rise alive." They didn't know what he was talking about, but were afraid to ask him about it. They came to Capernaum. When he was safe at home, he asked them, "What were you discussing on the road?" The silence was deafening. They had been arguing with one another over who among them was the greatest. He sat down and summoned the twelve. "So you want first place? Then take the last place. Be the servant of all." He put a child in the middle of the room, then cradling the little one in his arms, he said, "Whoever embraces one of these children as I do embraces me, and far more than me, God who sent me." The Gospel of the Lord. Reflections on the Gospel according to Mark, chapter 9, verses 30 to 37. The son of man will be delivered into the hands of men. What a beautiful image of love. God the lover throws himself into the hands of his beloved even if it would involve rejection, torture and killing. The lover has no other way to express all his love than to throw himself or herself into the arms of a loved one. This is what God has done. He turned himself into the hands of people knowing fully well that they would do to him what they wanted The disciples are not able to understand this love of the Lord how to comprehend the defeat and even the death of the Messiah They are unable to accept the scandal of the passion of the Messiah Still they continue to follow him to Jerusalem but of course with dreams as opposed to those of Jesus Centuries later although with a greater understanding of the mission and the words of Jesus unfortunately we continue to maintain similar aspirations of the disciples of Jesus and fight with one another for recognition acceptance and power positions and prestige our christian vocation calls us to be at the service of others but we are tempted today by a service which is in reality self-serving Jesus asks us to care for one another out of love it is a personal invitation whoever would be first among you must be the last and the servant of all this criterion is for personal evaluation and not to judge someone else Jesus did not say if your neighbor wants to be the first let him be the servant <laughs> we must be careful to avoid judgmental looks During his apostolic visit to Cuba in September 2015, Pope Francis said, "This caring for others out of love means putting the question of our brothers and sisters at the center. Service always looks at their faces, touches their flesh, senses their closeness and even in some cases suffers the closeness and tries to help them. Service is never ideological." for we do not serve ideas we serve people jesus had asked his disciples what were you discussing on the way the church is not a stepping stone to get to positions of prestige emerge or gain control over others it is where everyone complies with their gifts from god celebrating their greatness in humble service to others in god's eyes the greatest is the one whom most resembles christ who is the servant of all do i have resentments jealousies and conflicts 
kept in my heart? What consequences do they bring to my personal life, family and community?